Hi guys, the Adventure Assortment here for this next instalment of this video. Um, what we're looking at here is the Euphorbia mellifera, which is the plant you can see ahead. Made a lot of uh, nice growth. Here is, uh, as you can see, is the seed heads. Plenty of these seed pods, as you can see. They're not ripe yet, but they will be, and when they do, I'm sure they'll find themselves popping up everywhere around here. Um, the plant that you can see over in this pot, which is quite interesting, if I bend down you can see the stem, quite interesting. This is um, this is the Robinson Crusoe Island uh, daisy or, or dandelion, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I forgot, Dendroceras littoralis, that's the name of the plant, and that's next to this nice, uh, this nice, um, oh I've forgotten the name of it. Gosh, I'm not very good at uh, normal plants, sorry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is very nice and if I zoom into the trunk, it's got that nice exotic looking trunk That's a really nice one. It's one that I'm gonna have to take in for the winter though because it's not It's not hardy enough, but however, uh, I have got one planted over here in the shelter under the trees I don't know whether you can see it not as big as you can see it there I hope that will make it through the winter. We'll see if I turn around actually onto this these nice ones uh these nice uh, geranium flowers i would not normally plant a geranium but this is geranium um palmatum from the canary island very nice plant this has been plant flowering all season basically i'm getting attacked by flies now you'll have to watch out. um it's from all season they've been producing um yes yeah, so they they've been really putting on a show and you can see how attractive and or architectural the habit of the plant is if you look below moving on um, I'm going to show you uh, lastly one of the beds that we've recently done in which I've made a little uh, ornamental bed just by the vegetable area that's all the vegetable area you can see over there don't normally do videos on that um, but this is the uh, bed and it's in very very well draining soil um, so basically I'm growing an olive tree in here, um, cacti there, um, lantana there, and these uh, Carpobrotus rossii again. Very good. So these will hopefully trail. Um, not the sunniest place, but things should be all right because it does it does drain uh, pretty well. Um, yeah. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you liked it. I'll just walk around here again so you can see from this angle the the uh my allotment and this is it all together this is what it looks like yeah it's looking good at this time of year i'm pretty happy with it very good indeed so uh yeah plenty more to come from this uh, uh space and i'll uh i'll update you as it goes on so uh yeah thanks for watching um please take care please subscribe if you haven't and uh, i'll be back not long from now with more videos i'm sure as some of these plants begin to flower or do something really interesting. I'll see you next time and uh, take care.